So for my cultural event, I chose the Winter Market at El Museo Cultural de Santa Fe. It was in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and it was a market with multiple cultures that had their jewelry, antiques, artwork, etc. My reflection, I had a great time. I learned a lot of new information and saw a lot of new creations that I had never seen before. I'm not familiar with a lot of different religions and a lot of different cultures other than my own. So it was interesting for me to see that and to interact with some of the people that were there. And I love the fact that I did not know this going in, or I didn't expect it, I should say, that I would see aspects of my own culture. I'm Catholic, so I did see some Catholic artwork. There was Our Lady Guadalupe, there were some crucifixes, there was some Day of the Dead items. So it was interesting for me to see those because I can relate to that culture. My engagement, I talked to different people from different booths, and they were explaining to me that a lot of their artwork has meaning behind it with their religions so the signs and symbols that they were using were things that they connected to their beliefs and that they were taught as children or that they've grown up knowing that that's the way you behave in the world so it was interesting to me to talk with those people and learn a little bit more into their with me I'm a big I'm a big catholic so it was interesting to me to talk to somebody who didn't believe the way that I do and kind of get an understanding of why they do or why they create the artwork that they make based off those things. Um, the NASW standards that I learned a little bit more about. Now, I learned to how to interact with people different from myself. Sometimes that can be a little difficult for me because I'm not familiar with other people. I'm kind of just stuck to my community and the people that I'm around on a daily basis. So I don't know a lot about people who practice behaviors and religions and things other than myself. So it was interesting to see how me and my clients will potentially interact with one another if they're from a different culture than my own. That I, And I also learned that I really need to step up and learn more about these cultures when I have clients so that I can understand why they're going through the things they are or to be able to respect I always respect my clients and it's a little bit more being able to understand each other for our differences and have respect for one another on another level. Um, how is this different from my own culture? Um, it was much different from my religious beliefs, of course. There were obviously tribal gods that I don't believe in myself or spiritual beings that other cultures believed in that I had never seen before so it was a lot different than mine um I'm not really familiar seeing a lot of these paintings and stuff in my own household or in any of my friends and stuff because I'm just kind of used to seeing the same thing so it was interesting to me my comfort level I was very comfortable but I felt like I didn't really know as much as I thought I did. I, I, you know, I thought I had the basic idea from reading online about different cultures and stuff, but it's totally different than when you talk to them in real life. So I kind of, I didn't feel bad, but I kind of felt weird that I should know more than I did and I need to step my game up now and learn more. But I, the biggest thing I learned was Basically how to interact with people different from myself. Um, we also as social workers always need to look at our clients as people instead of the differences that we have with them. So that really helped me to just kind of get out of my comfort zone and to talk to people that are don't have the same beliefs or the same ideas or the same religions and stuff as I do. So that was interesting. Uh, thank you.